Hey guys, Ru here with Not A Bit For Blender. In this one, I'll show you 10 tricks with hard ups that you might not know of. Now the basic one. So when you cut something, hold shift and click, you can actually add loops to the cutter, right? To force this geometry onto the shape. So when I control click on sharpen and go to edit mode, you can see that these loops were enforced onto the, onto the geo and you can, you know, uh, have some fun with them. So for example, I could inset them and go with EM macro for example, right, you know, and so on and so forth. This is really helpful for uh, difficult shapes when you want to add some loops to support geometry, but you know, it could be used for all, all kinds of purposes, right? Now a cool trick is, uh, let's say that you um, didn't have any sharp edges in here, so I'm going to clean them with uh, Mark Sharp, and I have a duplicate of this object, okay? And then I wanted to, you know, sharpen both of them at the same time. If I select both of them and press Q, you will see I will see difference. So, you know, this is going to be a boolean. That's not going to work. But in edit mode, you know, you can actually run sharp. And it's we're going to uh, run sharp on both objects. You can do the same thing in object mode, but you need to do it through operations. So select this object, shift click on this object and go to operations. And then... Um, click on sharpen and this will sharpen both objects now if you want to clean it go to edit mode I select everything mark sharp and you're done not a cool thing about box cutter is that um, uh, is the way you can draw cutters okay so let's say that you had a cylinder all right and you wanted to you wanted to draw um, a, a circular a circular array so you would normally grab this, um, you know, uh, turn on the snap grid, make sure that you're in object view and perspective. Let's say that you wanted to perform a cut, um, a, rec a rectangular cut, so box cut using this grid. And you wanted to draw a rectangle, you know, in the middle, um, some kind of mirrored across this line, which you can see you can't do it. But if you hold Alt, so I'm holding Control and Alt at the same time, so it's going to snap to the grid, but it's also going to be drawn from the middle. I can do this, right? And then, while holding Control and Alt, right? Um, if you press V twice, and then release Control and Alt, you can actually draw shapes like this. You can, of course, scale them, right? Press V twice again to uh, reposition them. Press B, for example, and E for extrusion. And you got a really cool array on top of a cylinder. Okay. Another cool trick with snap grid is that you can draw from outside the model. So let's say that um, I had this shape here, right? And I wanted to, let's add just weight normals, and I wanted to draw um, an angon, right? From outside to, for example, bevel it. But I wanted to align it to, to the grid of this object. So let's go hold control. Let's make this grid a bit bigger. Okay, so 0 0.1 meter, right? And now if you are holding control and hovering mouse above the object, you will see the grid. But even if you have object selected and you hold and press control outside the object, you can't do it. You know, the grid will not show. So what you need to do is hold control when you're hovering over the object, move your mouse outside while holding control. And then when you start drawing, you can start drawing the shape from outside uh, you know the uh, the box and the benefit for example would be that if you want to add bevels you know um, if you draw too close to the edge right too close to the edge this bevel will affect and uh, you know how your cutter is going to perform the, the shape of your cutter so you might not be able to cut like this right so it's a very useful trick worth knowing now let's say that you had an object uh, with um, you know, a lot of booleans, right? So let's just uh, grab a circle and just, uh, I'm just going to hold control. By, by the way, by holding control, you can repeat the cut, okay? So I'm just going to slice it, you know, whichever way, doesn't matter, right? And I got all these booleans going on on this shape, correct? And, you know, it's all life. Nothing is it's applied yet, right? So um, if you wanted to apply all the booleans very quickly, right, you could press Q and Control and click on Sharp, and this will apply all the booleans um, to your mesh. Now, let's say you got some modifiers on this mesh, you know. Let's say you got um, hard of smear and weighted normals and all these booleans. And you could either go to 
uh, operations and apply smart apply but smart apply is going to apply in mirrors too uh, now control click on sharp and it's going to apply only the bullions so your mirror waited almost in the bevel uh, you know bevel is going to be uh, left alone yeah so how to add weighted normals with one click to multiple objects at the same time? Well, you select all of them, you go to Q, you go to Operations, scroll to Sharpen, and um, this Sharpen, not C Sharpen, this Sharpen, and Alt-click on Weighted Normals, and Bob Jankul, you get Weighted Normals on every single object at the same time, right? So there you go. Alternately, what you could do is um, run with harder normals so instead of adding weighted normals to every single object you could run bevels with harder normals which kind of is similar to uh, to weighted normals so what you need to do is select this option here harder normals and with every single bevel that you're gonna add it's gonna automatically add um, harder normals so if I'm gonna add a bevel right hard normal is going to get applied automatically with my bevel okay so if i go to shading boom hard normals is being applied and the same goes for weighted normals really cool uh, really cool tool for uh, cutting shapes uh, is to bull and it's a bit hidden so if you go to a cube right and um, let's say that i wanted to um, well, I wanted to cut this cube with, you know, with these faces, okay? So or I can select these faces with Shift, then go to Q, and then go to uh, Boolean, and then go to Selection to Boolean. And you can now adjust this, right? You get multiple options here as well. And when you click and then you move your mouse, you can actually insert or outset, okay? So, pretty cool. And boom, there's your... There's your uh, insert boolean okay so it's kind of easy to do it this way you could do the same thing now with uh, ear macro by the way but uh, with ear macro you will need to actually insert the faces first and then uh, i'll click on ear macro okay so it's another way of doing it all right not many people know that you can actually cut stuff in edit mode so if I go to, um, if I uh, apply this with sharpen and go to edit mode, let's say that I wanted to perform, you know, a precision bullion, but or knife cut, but I can't really see where my edges are. So if you go to edit mode, right, and you turn on box cutter by pressing Alt W, you can actually use box cutter, okay, in edit mode, right, and it works perfectly fine and um, you know in the same way as uh, box cutter in, in solid mode. The only difference is that you can literally see what you're doing so your lines could be and cuts could be much more you know much more precise okay but everything works um, you know all kinds of bullions um, and gun bullions and gun knives whatever the hell you wish it works with bevels without bevels you can do all kinds of um, really cool stuff yeah with your mesh okay Last trick I'm gonna show you is actually a new one, and it's pretty cool actually. It was added by the recent uh, Hardops update. So when you go to your Hardops, you may you might not know, but if you click on the logo here, you'll see that you know whether your version is up to date or not. It's gonna tell you uh, needs update if it does. But if you control click this thing, you're gonna get a constantly flowing, uh, sort of like a, a you know fading in and out tips regarding. A hard ops different tools and i think it's just amazing because it's fantastic for new users um and you know if you don't know something and you would like to learn some cool tricks this is probably a, a nice place to start you know take some notes or take some screenshots and by the way for screenshots uh, the best program for screenshots is sharex so if you don't have it grab it that's a free tip for you anyway guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub if you did now, if you do want to buy hard ops and box cutter, the links in my video description to Master Zion 1001 store. It doesn't really cost you anything extra, so you're just going to help the channel by simply following the affiliate link. Other uh, links over there as well to all the items I'm using every day. Thank you for watching. Give us a like and sub if you did enjoy the video, and I catch you in the next one.